Let's talk about basic result display in visual analysis. In this example, I have a three span continuous beam with loads from three load sources. For I have loads for dead load, for live load, and for snow load. If we take a look at the load case manager, go over to service cases, we have analyze yes checked for all of those. And what that means is we will see results for these cases. So if you're only interested in combination cases and you don't want to see the individual service cases, you can check this analyze to no and they won't show up in the results. Let's go to the results now. I switch to the results view, drop down the result case combo. I can see all the cases I have results for and you see I have the individual service cases here. In addition, I have all of the combination cases displayed as well and note they're all ASD cases. Now why is that? Well again going to the load case manager if we go to load combinations we'll see that we have ASCE 705 ASD checked so all we're going to see are these cases generated in this list. If I wanted to see more I could click on LRFD cases and they would show up and you get results for those as well and so that's how we decide how many cases we're going to see in this list based on setting up the load case manager quantities. Now then, let's just look at basic beam results. We look at a result view here. Now I'm looking at what's happening for the dead load case. And notice that I have the undeflected shape shown in the background in kind of a hazy view. Well, if we look at the filters now and go to the results filter, notice I have checked up here at the top overlay undisplaced. If I uncheck that, that goes away. Also note that when I check overlay undisplaced, I get an additional filter at the top, the model filter. So I could go back to the model filter now and turn off certain things like maybe just, I don't want to see the nodes in that filter in the background, or I don't want to see the loads and I could turn those off. So you have complete control now in the results view as to what the undeflected structure shape contains. Final thing let's talk about is actual member results themselves. Again, if I go to the results filter, if I look at members are selected, let's turn the nodes off and go down and look at member results. And right now the result type is none. If I were to change this to let's say MZ moments, now then, by default, if you look at the, gra at the filter over here, we're seeing we get to see colors, and you're actually seeing the colors of the moment based on this color legend down at the bottom. This legend you can select and move around if it gets in the way. In addition, you can trim the legend to only show certain values. So let's suppose I only wanted to see positive values. If I drag on the slider at the start, I can move that in until the start value is close to zero. And I'll do that right about here. And when I let up then, anything that's in the negative region will all be gray. The entire color spectrum will be for just positive values. So I can change my color range by dragging the sliders on the, on the legend down below. The other things I can do with with graphics output for members is changed to a diagram view. Now diagram view I found does not look well on the display shape so let's click displaced up here and turn it off and let's also turn off the undisplay shape in the background so we don't see that and as well we have extreme labels shown at the moment so we're seeing what the what the largest and smallest values are I'll turn that off and now I see the diagram plotted rather than the colors. So you have a way then to show member results in diagram form and that's how it's done.